Hi, this is Tim Hamilton and John Frenet, and we're the co-hosts of the Maryland Crabs. Today, we're here with a crab cake for your listening pleasure. What's a crab cake? It's not quite a full episode, it's just a little snippet, so stay tuned and check it out. And make sure you check us out on themarylandcrabs.com. You can follow us on Twitter at MD Crabs Podcast, or find us on Facebook at the Maryland Crabs Podcast. Don't forget, subscribe, rate us, iTunes, go there now. Go. Go. It's 9 p.m., and we're at John's house. And <laughs> We're John, in the studio. We're in the studio. John has an ice-cold Coke in front of him, and I am beerless. But I was going to give him a chance to all, bring all, all in all, a pretty depressing night. Huh? <laughs> this, is depressing. <laughs> this is the first crab cake we've done together. It is. Uh, I, I've done a couple separately. I know you're working on a couple. I'm working on a couple that are coming out uh, before I go on my trip. But, yep. um, yeah, I'm working on a couple. So this is... Uh, I was leaving the house all of a sudden. John says, let's do this. And I told my wife, I got to go out real quick. She goes, why? I said, uh, I got to meet John. She's like, yeah, John. Yeah, so. yeah. It's always John. It's always John. Well, hey, no, this is this is actually very cool. This is uh, not going to be a very long one, but it's nope. going to be a very important one. Yep. And we're since- in my drinking time right now. So you are on the <laughs> clock, my friend. <laughs> but the episode that dropped yesterday was Nevin Young. Yep. Who was our fourth candidate. And final. And what we think at this point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Final candidate that's running for mayor of the city of Annapolis. Yeah, he's running team. against uh, Mike Panellides in the Republican side. Primary. Yep. And then you've got Gavin and John in the uh, in the Democratic side. Campaigns are starting to heat up now, which is very interesting. You know what's funny? I was on Maryland Ave today, and I didn't, first of all, I didn't realize that they had, like, some arts festival. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, it's, arts, it's, it's the art weeks. I had no idea, um, because we don't have anyone running the downtown partnership, but uh, that's... But if you had listened to the podcast we did the other week, you would have known right. that. But that said, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know what's funny? I was talking to a bunch of the merchants who were kind of all hanging out front, and they're kind of a quiet bunch when you talk about the business people in Annapolis, mm-hmm. and they were pretty abuzz about the election coming up. They were all... I'm, I, I don't want to be biased here. They were excited about Gavin because he's a business owner and he's very visible to them, and he's one of theirs. And they, uh, you know, John, they know of course because he lives down there. But um, they're they're pretty tuned into it. I'm, I'm just using well, Gavin's that. in a unique position because he's a resident of Ward One. He's been here a long time. Colorful character, and he's a business owner, so he's see, he's seen it from and he's sued the city. Uh, so yeah. I mean, no, he's gotten all of that. Let's get into it. The exciting thing is that is that we've teased about it. We've talked about it. June twenty eighth, we've got our. Actually, it's the first mayoral forum of the election season. Yep. And so we had a debate, and John has been a busy boy for the it's, last few days. Yeah. It's, well, it's not really going to be a debate. It's going to be a forum. And I'm, I go back into the debate because it's an easy word. I like easy words. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. But we've got all four candidates that have committed to this. We've got uh, Mayor Mike Panalides, Senator John Astle. We've got Gavin Buckley, as well as Nevin Young, have all committed to June 28th at the Rams Head on stage. The doors will open up at 6 o'clock. And the Rams said we'll have food there to purchase, as well as uh, they're going to have a special like election menu with uh, bologna specials. You see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, that's probably that'd be great. And they're going to they're going to have some booze, and they're going to have some uh, oh, food there to be able to buy. Right. Uh, we're not buying it for you because we're not rolling in the dough yet. No. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up all the candidates up on stage. And we're going to ask them the questions that are important to you. Right. So we have four candidates, and we don't have... We figure it's going to probably be around an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. Mm-hmm. We don't want to drag it on all night. But uh, since we have four candidates, we're going to have a limited number of questions. Um, John has always been busy, already been busy, rather, winnowing down the questions and the categories. So yeah, We've asked a couple of people from before, you know, out online to give us questions and whatnot. We've gotten some, and we've narrowed down to topics. And we're not going to divulge the questions, certainly. There will not be a swimsuit uh, contest? No. And they know the general topics that we're going to hit hit on. But the specific questions... Yeah, there's no surprises. I mean, we, don't. everyone knows what the issue... All the issues that are out there we've kind of talked about or anyone's talked about. Right. So there's not going to be any, any curveballs. No, but it'll, it'll, be very, it'll be very interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to approach each candidate and the, each candidate is going to answer the same question. So it's going to be really platformed and policy-based as opposed to individuals. There's not going to be the rebuttal. Uh, and that, I think, is appropriate when you get into the general election when you've got two candidates right. going between each other. And we're going to rotate the order so that to keep it fair. And actually, this is this went from that sort of situation where we're like, oh, geez, we hope people show up to, it's been on the Ram's Head website for right. well, three hours. Okay, well, the question begs is, why the hell is it on the Ram's Head website? And Good here's, question. And here's, here's, here's the reason. Uh, we need to, quote, unquote, sell tickets. 
There is no cost to attend this. It's free. So it's totally free. Everyone who's just reaching for their pause button, it is free. There's no service charges on the fees or anything like that. All you need to do is to go to ramsheadonstage.com, scroll down, find it June 28th. You can purchase... It'll say buy tickets, but it'll say $0.00 and $0.00. General admission, so... Four is the maximum you can buy at a time. Right. And scarily, scarily, Mm -hmm. um, we've sold out about a third of the room in about three and a half hours since that went up. So go out there, get the tickets if you have been interested in politics in the city election. That's where you're really... um, you're going to get the tickets. It's going to be the first chance to really see all four candidates together, and they've never been together in one event so far this year mm. uh, to speak publicly as on the on the election. And if you can't make it, that's okay too, because we're oh, also yeah. going to be we're, we're diving some technical stuff uh, uh, right now. Like right now, this is we're excited, but like three days before, we'll be having ulcers because we're going to be streaming live on the All Annapolis uh, Facebook page as well as the Maryland Crafts Crafts. Facebook page. So we'll be streaming live on those. We want to make sure, see if we can get the the audio cleaned up, and I'm I'm talking to someone about some technology where we can switch cameras, but I mean, if we can't do that, we're going to at least stream it. And so you'll be able to watch it from the comfort of your own home, and then, of course, we'll record it so that it can, and it'll be a Maryland's Crab episode so you can listen to it. They're republished. And, and hopefully, if we can do it quickly in time, the, the on June 29th episode for the Maryland Crabs, we may be able to turn it around, but it may be that first Thursday in July that uh, that we get. But we're going to try to turn that around fairly quickly. How it's going to run, we're going to come in, we're going to introduce the candidates. are each going to get a moment to introduce themselves, what they're about. We're going to get right into it. We're going to give them a question, give them a few minutes to respond to it. And I am, like, really excited about this because I've told them, all of them, that this is a hard three-minute response. Okay, so three minutes is up. There's a mute button on the mixer, <laughs> and and it off off they go. And we will do that. We will hold them to the three minutes. We piss people off without even trying, so this Which is, is going to be easily. Which is fine. And when we get when we get through the end of it, what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a nonprofit that will be there. And at this point, I think it's going to be We Care and Friends and Larry Griffin. Oh, uh, they're really the good. Videos. Yeah. And what we're doing, again, it's not going to cost you anything unless you want it to cost you something. We're just going to ask to be part of a community and to maybe donate. If it's a dollar, if it's five dollars, if it's a thousand dollars. we got everyone there, so why not? Um, yeah. I mean, and we'll have a bucket and you can you can throw it in there. If you want to check, you can write it out. So we care and friends. We're not taking it. And Larry will be there. So you know it's going to the right person. It's going right to the, the horse's mouth. It's not will. my beer money. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, it's a good thing. It's giving back to the community. And that's something that we really do believe in here. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is have a sort of a straw poll on the tables. Uh, so at every seat, there's going to be like a golf pencil and a little stack of cards. A ballot. So at the end of the day or at the end of the night, just circle the candidate that you're inclined to vote for if the election were that night. And drop it into a uh, ballot box that we'll have at the door. On your way out. On the way out. Well, after making a donation uh, we to don't. We Care and Friends, probably. Yep. And, uh, you know, and that's about it. We hope to be out of there by just about 9 o'clock. And I will say that this is also dinner under the stars. It's Wednesday, which is every Wednesday so night. So make a night of it, yeah. Make a night of it. Go out onto West Street. Uh, they're going to be serving uh, you know, wine from Luna Blue is out there. They've got wine, Stan and Joe's. Everybody's out in the street. Maybe do some tango. There will be some dancing and some live music out That's on the around my 20th anniversary. So I think I'm going to make that night the special night because we're already there. Yeah. You're already down there. And, and, you can, and you can ignore your wife for two hours. I can do it for longer than that. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> Please. Two hours is nothing. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the big news. We're really excited about this. It's the first mayoral forum where we've got all four candidates. They all committed very quickly. They said, yeah, I'm in, um, which made me very happy. And June 28th at the Ram's Head, it starts promptly at 7 o'clock, but the doors will open at 6. You can go in, get a bite to eat, get some of their special beers that they're going to have on special for us. Have a good time and learn a little bit about, about what's going to happen if uh, either one of these guys is elected mayor. All right. So sum up. So be sure to go onto the Ram's Head website and you get there uh, to get the tickets there. Remember, it'll say buy tickets, but they're free. Uh, you have a maximum of four. Please, if you get the tickets, do show. Uh, don't just get the tickets and not um, because we want, there's people who want to go. I think uh, I was I got a, a bunch of uh, panic calls today for people who wanted tickets. I'm like, I don't control tickets. They're going to the Ram's Head, but they're free. Right. And it's ramsheadonstage.com. In the meantime, of course, you can find us on Facebook. We have a page and we have a group. And you can find us on Twitter at MD Crabs Podcast. John's at Ian Annapolis. I'm at Tim Hamilton 47. 
Uh, you can send us an email at the info at the com. Find us at the com. If you've not heard the episode that dropped yesterday, which is Nevin Young, give that a listen. Uh, and if you haven't heard the other candidates, uh, go back and listen to them because we have all four of the candidates on the record. We have two with Gavin and just because he was an eager boy. So mm-hmm. we had two with Mike Panelides too. Oh, we had two with Mike Panelides. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. So, but go and listen to those. And, and we want to see you on uh, June 28th. Absolutely. And if you've got, if you have any questions, um, what we're going to be doing is well, you can submit a question the night of, and we're going to sort of bring them together and sort of collate them, if you will. Uh, so if you've got any questions, you can also email them to us, info at themarylandcrabs.com. Yep. All right. Okay, now you've got to get a beer, right? I need several beers. Good night. Good night. This has been the Maryland Crabs Podcast with Tim Hamilton and John Fernay. Sure to follow them in all the regular places, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and online at themarylandcrabs.com. Take a moment to rate us on iTunes. Now, get the hell out of my kitchen. Seriously, go! You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.